I show you how to take convenience store corn chips and turn it into a great casserole for your family. Up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget-minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Trailer the Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, spring is hopefully around the corner, and it's probably, I don't know that groundhog, I don't know what he did, but sometimes we eat groundhogs in the trailer park every, every now and then. Um, maybe not roadkill, but we, we go out and find them. Um, no, we don't. Um, actually, I pick up ground beef at the grocery store. Um, they, you know, I may eat a groundhog if someone offered it to me. Anyway, forget about groundhogs. I hope it's spring sometime soon. Today, we're going to be cooking a great recipe using things that are in your cabinet because you could still be snowed in. And, you know, I don't do many fish dishes, and people are like, Jolene, why don't you do some fish dishes? Well, today we're going to be using tuna in a can, and that's what we're going to be using because that's about my expertise in fish, is tuna in a can. If it's in a can, it's good to go. And, you know, I dropped off at the uh, convenience store and got some corn chips because that's another staple in the trailer park world is corn chips. And we're going to be making a great casserole that's kind of got a southwest feeling to it because... Oh, corn chips, um, Southwest, I guess it all goes together. But it's got green peppers and stewed tomatoes. It's my tuna corn bake up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. And I'm going to show you how to make it up next. I'll be right back. Here's how you put it together. Welcome back. Making my tuna corn bake is really simple and I thought I'd show you all up and close so you don't miss a step. But I've got a casserole dish here and it's just one of those regular ones. You could use pretty much any oven safe dish. And I've got a can of condensed cream of chicken soup and I'm just going to add that to the bowl here and I'm just going to mix that right on in there. And I'm going to be using white tuna today. Now, you could use the budget tuna, you know, the tuna that you don't know. Well, it could be dolphin. I don't know. I, do, I hope it's not dolphin. That's why I don't do much fish dishes, because I'm scared. Uh, my Uncle Hector was out fishing the other day. I swear that fish had three eyeballs that he uh, brought into the trailer the other day. Uh, but let's see. I'm just putting the um, chunked tuna. Now, I flake this with a fork little bit earlier here and um, I'm just putting it into the casserole with the cream of chicken soup. Now this is kind of spicy. It kind of adds a little bit of chili powder and all sorts of other spices that you could probably add to your taste. Um, but now I'm going to add uh, the stewed tomatoes and this is just, um, we're probably not going to use um, the whole can because um, you really don't need that much. So. Let's go ahead and just add about a half a can of the stewed tomatoes there. I'm going to leave about four or five of the tomatoes for a nice topping so that looks really pretty. Um, so let me just mix this around here. And I've got a cup of crushed corn chips. Now we used these before in a Southwest dish that's very popular 
in the trailer park and it used the ground beef but today we're using the tuna with them so I've got those it's a one cup of kind of a coarse um, crush up of these so I'm gonna go ahead and add those to the mixture just like that now I chopped up a half of a green pepper just a small one and I chopped it up into tiny pieces and I'm gonna add that right on into the bowl and you can in a pinch uh, resuscitate those um, dehydrated onions and maybe about a couple tablespoons but I had a fresh onion that I had to use so I'm gonna go ahead and add that right on in there now depending on how spicy that you like it um, I'm just gonna use probably about a 1 4 teaspoon of chili powder so let me go ahead and just add about 1 4 teaspoon right on in there I like a little kick to it maybe I'll add some hot sauce I don't know and you could probably use probably some garlic powder or some garlic salt. Um, I'm using some garlic salt today. It's probably um, pretty salty already, so let me go ahead and add that uh, to that. So let me go ahead and mix this together and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, we mixed it all together and put it down in the bottom of this baking dish. And what we're going to do now is I've got some shredded cheese. You could probably use your favorite. But I've just got some cheddar cheese that I've got a cup of and I'm going to sprinkle it right here on top. And we've got the reserved tomatoes and actually one more cup of the actual corn chips crushed up. And you can arrange it all pretty but um, I just kind of make a nice topping of the corn chips again because I like it all the way through. And then I take a little bit of the tomatoes that are left over and artfully arrange it on top so it looks real nice. This would look great on a buffet, great on a nice cold winter's night, and things you have in your pantry already. You could probably add some green onion or some parsley or some paprika. Let's put another one on top there. And let's take a look at it. There we go. We're going to pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. It's going to be nice and bubbly and I'll check back with you in just a moment. So set your timer. there you have it, my tuna corn bake. Corn chips from the convenience store turn into a great casserole for your family. Now we use the stewed tomatoes and the green peppers in this and you could probably put some green onions up on top or maybe a dollop of sour cream or maybe a kick of hot sauce to make it yours. What are you going to do? Leave a comment down at the bottom. But we use the chunk white tuna and that's so great it stays in your pantry and ready to use anytime that you want. But the corn chips have baked down down in the bottom with the cheese and it also has that crunchy bit on top and I see the nice soup has made a nice mixture in there and I just can't wait to try this so hold on a minute. Mmm! Tastes like flavor and mmm! It's just so hearty and the, the crunch of the corn chips is so nice on top and Mmm, kind of southwest a little bit, and mmm, this will surely become a favorite in your trailer or your home, and mmm, it's so easy to make. I hope you get a chance to make my tuna corn bake, and if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. Add me on Facebook. I'm Jolene Sugar Baker there. And, of course, visit the brand new, updated JoleneSTrailerPark.com for all sorts of fun things from the trailer park. And I'll be back soon with some more recipes, so hit that subscribe button wherever it is now and tell your friends about the trailer park. I love you. I'm so happy to be back and cooking up a storm here inside the trailer park test kitchen. I'll see y'all back real soon and enjoy. Remember, you're special. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.